the format of being robot. If you want to know who I am, the best I can tell you is that I'm the oldest child in a family of five. My sister who moved away with her dog, and my other sister, who's currently in college brought a female pet bird. Another one of my sisters is really talented at art, and there's the youngest child. He's my little brother and really great at programming. We sometimes call him silly names like Silly Billy, Billy's not his actual name, it just rhymes, but he's really cute and we love him. Fast forward summer break, and my cousins were getting engaged, and they were throwing an engagement party before they get married in the future. However, they were at Canada. I know we could drive, but it would take 10 hours plus bathroom stops. We figured it would be better to travel through flight. The airplanes have those entertainment systems, where it streams channels live on the back of a chair with a remote on the arm of the seat. After waiting for a couple hours until the airport boards the passengers, we are finally on the flight. After a couple more minutes of waiting for the passengers to get in, and more minutes of waiting for some sort of airplane safety video to finish, the airplane finally flies, and we can finally watch TV on an airplane. I decided to watch some SpongeBob SquarePants, so I went to the menu to see what episodes of SpongeBob were airing, and of course, there were just modern episodes. But there was one that caught my eyes. The episode's title said, Grandma's Cookies. Just to let you know, my brother was a huge fan of Spongebob, and I decided to start a Spongebob marathon, or what we call, the Spongeathon, on Paramount Plus, and I never remembered seeing that episode. Maybe it was a new episode that was currently released. I was sitting next to my sister, and asked her to go to the TV channel's menu, to see if she has the same thing, but she told me that there wasn't an episode named Grandma's Cookies. But instead, there was an episode named Doodle Dimension which we did watch in the marathon. So I looked at the episode description. SpongeBob visits his grandma's house to learn how she makes her delicious cookies. All they are missing is one secret ingredient. It appears to play after the episode Mrs. Puff You're Fired. So I watched it to see if it would actually play Grandma's Cookies after that, or if it was just a glitch, and it was supposed to air later. So after 11 minutes of watching Spongebob, getting trained by someone replacing Mrs. Puff, I waited until the commercial break ends, and after Spongebob plays the recorder on his nose, I was ready to see what fate chooses. The title card of Grandma's Cookies shows, and then the episode begins at Spongebob heading to his grandma's house. Spongebob opens the door and yells in happiness. Grandma! As he runs to her and hugs her. His grandma gives him a kiss on the forehead, and told him that she almost didn't recognize him because he was growing older. She also told Spongebob that no matter how old he is, he will always be his little baby to her. Spongebob goes to the kitchen, as his grandma prepares to bake a batch of cookies. She asks Spongebob, Want to know how I make my cookies as delicious as you think? Spongebob nods in happiness. She goes to the mixer and says, we add daughter, eggs, flour, water, chocolate chips, and most importantly, you love. As she puts the ingredients and mixes them. SpongeBob kissed the bowl full of the ingredients, and kissed his grandma, telling her how much he loves her. His grandma tells him that she has a secret ingredient that makes her cookies stand out, and tells him to close his eyes. SpongeBob asks her about the ingredient, and she tells him. If I tell you, then it won't be a secret ingredient anymore. Just like how you make a Krabby Patty with the secret ingredient. SpongeBob starts growing suspicious. You're plankton in disguise, aren't you? He said. She tells him. I don't know him, but I do remember moments of a little walking green jelly bean that always tries to steal what he calls the secret formula. The camera goes to the inside of a closet, and she opens it, and gasped. Oh no! We ran out of the secret ingredient. I gotta go get more of it. SpongeBob was upset about the situation, so he tries to find the ingredient. Using his knowledge that his grandma doesn't have the ingredient at home, he goes outside and grabs random stuff, from seaweed to kelp to Krabby Patties. 
but none of them tasted like his grandma's cookies. He tries to call his grandma multiple times, but she won't pick up. He called her again and she finally picked up. Of course, he asks his grandma about the secret ingredient, and of course again, she tells him that it's a secret. He doesn't give up, and goes back outside to get more random stuff to find the secret ingredient, but none of them worked. He decided to try random parts of characters, from Plankton's body to Mr. Krabs' arm. None of them worked. He soon wondered if his grandma was lying to him about her running out of the secret ingredient, so he looks around the house until something caught his eye. A door that has a sign hanging on the doorknob, saying in all capital letters, DO NOT ENTER. He wanted to see what's inside, but he didn't want to invade his grandma's privacy while she's away. Curiosity got the better of him, and he enters the room. He felt something touch him on the foot. He looked down, to see some skeleton bones, with the word, HELP, written on the floor. Grandma appears behind him with a baseball bat. Looks like you found my secret. She said. SpongeBob was sad, and scared at the same time. And I totally understand. How would you feel if your grandma was using dead people for cookies? Let's just say, I found out sea sponges can regenerate, so I knocked your grandpa out, and used his body parts as the secret ingredient. Since I baked the body parts in the oven with the cookies, it won't regenerate, so I can use it as an ingredient. SpongeBob's grandma said. She knocks SpongeBob unconscious, and throws him next to his unconscious grandpa. She slams the door closed as the screen turns black. Then, a locking sound can be heard. The credits play like normal, and there's nothing out of the ordinary. Then, it gets to the United Plankton Pictures Incorporated logo. The logo was replaced with, United Chocolate Chips Incorporated. The water background was replaced with fire, and the planktons were replaced with trays of cookies, with some skeleton bones in the tray. I was shocked, and I wanted to learn more about this episode. Since my plane has Wi-Fi, I did some research about this episode. Here's what I got so far. 1. The episode was made originally, because a man was friends with a person who was a worker of SpongeBob SquarePants, and that man wanted revenge because his ex, who loves SpongeBob so much, cheated on him. 2. He was able to make a copy of the Nickelodeon streaming service, and replace the episode with the one I currently watched. 3. There's actually a rare chance for the episode to accidentally air on the real Nickelodeon streaming service, instead of the duplicate. It looks like I got that rare chance. Here I am now, after the engagement party. It was really fun, but it didn't distract me from this episode. I understand that cheating is wrong, but I think the man was carried away with the episode, 